Hey again. Um, I chose to record another tutorial today because it's just fun recording things like these. I hope it's fun for you watching these as well. Um, something I forgot to tell you earlier is if you can't follow my tutorials correctly, if I forget to tell you something, if I click somewhere like that, just watch my mouse. If I click with a left click, I, it's, there's a red circle appears, and I right click, there's a blue circle that appears. So just so you know. Okay. Now I'm gonna. Today I want to show. <laughs> sorry. Today I want to show you how to assign multiple materials to one mesh. For example, this script. If I want to assign multiple multiple materials to this. For example, a black part in the middle, so it looks more like a lightsaber grip. Normally, what I have to do, or what I thought, what I before I knew this, what I thought I'd have to do is create multiple objects, and that's just not the way to go. It's ugly, not reliable, and if you don't know what you're doing, it could turn out really bad. Just assigning multiple materials is a really cool function, and it's really useful for more complicated objects later. If I, for example, make a monkey, and I don't want the whole monkey to have the same material, like brown fur, and then I have to do the face, I'd have to make a um, single object for the eyes, the, ma the mouth, and everything else, and that's really annoying. Even if I have to do that, I think making the eyes really is better if you want to animate it, making them sim single off. Alright, oh, don't want to talk about that. Forget that. Okay, I'm gonna take my. I'm gonna reopen my lightsaber really quick. I have my lightsaber here. I'm gonna go to the top view with the 7 on my numpad. Hold on, I'm gonna pan this a little. I just like panning these things. Um, I am have orthographic turned on, make sure you do, it's just more useful with the 5 on your numpad. This is perspective, this is orthographic. And now I zoom in on my lightsaber, select it, press tab to go into edit mode. And I'm going to select the part of the mesh that's supposed to have another texture. So I'm going to box select with B. And I think I'm just going to select this part here. Yeah, that should be black. So that's where the hand would be if you had that lightsaber grip in your hand. Now go into the editing panel and choose here under link and materials, new material. Now we go into the shading um, panel and edit our new material. Now we already know that the rest of this lightsaber grip is mirrored, it looks like metal so I'm just going to turn off the ray mirror here and turn the color to something black, no not all black so it's a lighter black, like a really dark gray there. I got that. I'm going to go in the shaders panel and turn the specular just down a bit. I don't want it to reflect as much. Oh, that's looking really good already. Now I, go, I have to go back into the editing panel and click assign. Now I already know something should have happened. The part of the lightsaber group should have turned black. If I go out of editing, uh, out of edit mode, back into object mode, I see what has happened. I go switch to camera view with a zero on my numpad. And if I render this with F12 or click render in the render panel, you should see then that the grip looks a lot better now. I'll just wait for this to render really quick. The grip takes a little, but I'm sure you can wait. Now that's looking pretty cool already. And you can always go back into edit, edit mode, make even more materials on the link in materials panel, and make this a really cool looking thing. I'd also appreciate if you post links in the comments to your rendered work, if you can host them online at imageshack.us or somewhere else. That'd be really cool. Now this lightsaber is starting to look really nice. Something cool I figured out how you can really make this look bright, or make it look cool, is open this up in Photoshop and add a lens flare that just sits right here and goes over here. That just makes it look really cool. Now that's it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching. Bye.